Hey everybody, ever dig through your pile of scrap parts and stumble upon something kind of like this here? It's an old distributor head of it. It's actually a Pontiac, but let's call it a GM HEI distributor. Used for many cars for many years, starting about 1975 until, oh, not that long ago, actually. So really common piece, but super reliable for the most part. But uh, why is it in your junk pile? Or maybe you got one in your car and want to make sure it's any good. I'm going to show you how to test this and verify it's operational with just a couple pieces of wire, 12 volt test light, and a good 12 volt car battery. Go check it out. All right, to check out our distributor here, obviously it doesn't look too bad because I actually cleaned it up, but uh, to use your imagination, any condition of the distributor, HEI, gonna need that. Gonna need a couple pieces of wire to wire it in, a 12 volt test light to act like our coil or the output, and a good battery. I happen to find this one actually shows 12.6 volts. So it's gonna work for us for what we need for testing purposes. But what we gotta do is basically gonna make sure this module is good, pickup coil is good, and actually will create a ground pulse to operate the coil. Um, how this thing works, all it is is a ground pulse generator. That's all the distributor actually truly is. You have battery voltage coming in, and then it actually as it rotates, pickup coil operates in here, makes some magic happen. And this little wire labeled C on the module, I highlight it for better camera footage, but uh, that's actually just a ground pulse. As this distributor turns and passes one of these little signals, it actually creates a ground pulse if it's working right. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to wire it up use the test light we can watch it blink as long as all these components are good all right well let's get started first things first the distributor itself is a pretty simple hookup the b on the module i highlighted it in white paint here so you can see a little better but it's labeled b that's for battery that's your 12 volt signal in we need to run a wire from it to our battery positive and we also do the other side of the circuit the center lug one of these three wires one two three the center one is our ground circuit you can see if you trace back inside, it actually goes right here to this screw. So we're going to add battery positive here and ground on the middle one. Then we'll, I'll show you how to hook up the light here in a second. Let's get those two ran first. So not overly complicated. We'll just take this wire and just kind of stab it into the plug here. And then I'll take the other end to the battery positive and hook it up with a pair of vice grips. That'll work for that testing purpose. And I said in the center lug, this goes the battery negative. That'll complete our circuit. Turn the module on. That way, if it has the potential to work, well, it should be turned on and ready to go. Same thing as like turning your ignition on in your car. So now, module's turned on. So now it's going to look for a signal from the pickup coil. As long as that stuff's all good when I spin this distributor, this should have a ground pulse. We're going to check the ground pulse, well, with a 12-volt test light. Um... Pretty simple situation here. It's a 12 volt test light. Well, it's hook one end to a battery positive, the other end touch that terminal. And if I have a ground pulse, the light should blink to the rhythm or the speed that I'm turning the distributor. So we'll go ahead and hook this up to battery positive this end. Maybe. I'll make sure that's good ground. And you can see the light turns on. So. Battery positive is good, touch the ground, I'm good. So now, as long as everything's right, I'll get you in here closer. I'll touch that to the C terminal right here. You'll look at that test light. As I spin the distributor with my finger, I should get a blink. And of course, the faster you spin it, the faster it's gonna blink, or the slower you spin it, the slower it's gonna blink. So I'm gonna tell you right now, this ignition module, pickup coil, and everything has potential to work just fine. So there you have it. This bad boy is a good distributor. Found it in my junk pile. I wasn't sure the condition of it, but uh, I know it's operational. I might find a home one of these old birds here to put it back in because this is the old Pontiac distributor. Now, like I said, this is a GM HEI design used in 1975 to so probably the late 80s on any make. Old Buick, Pontiac, Chevy. All of them use an HEI distributor. So if you find one in your junk pile or go to the junkyard or maybe your car stopped running, this is how you could test this thing. No money. Pretty easy to do, and if you found a good one, at least now you know it's good to put back in the car and make it operational. So I got plenty of these little tips. I'll keep putting them out there for you. And of course, if you'd like to see more of them or you know, follow us on my journey here, please hit the old subscribe button. I appreciate it. And of course, if you like what you see, the like button helps out too. The old YouTube's like set. I'm trying to make this channel go. And if there's anything you would like to see in these old Pontiacs or anything old, I'm definitely sure I probably got the information or I'll get you the answer just the same. So appreciate you following this journey. I got plenty more here yet to do. So I'm going to get back to it and uh, we'll see you next time.